Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video we're going to have a look at the Surface Down. It's just been released in the UK, it's been out in America for a while, but I'm going to pair it up with my Surface, see what it can do with it, and I might also try it with uh, another device, like a Dell laptop or something like that, to see if you can use it with that. So here's the dial, it comes with uh, a tab in to uh, put the batteries out, very nice smooth action, it's got a metal aluminium feel to it with the, the plastic base on there so next thing to do is to pair it up with a surface so before I start I just tear off the little sticky pad there and that gives it a nice um, it's rubber so it gives it a nice firm um, feel on the desk it's not moving no matter what I do with it there okay so I'm gonna pair it up now you hold down the little button underneath here under the battery cover a little flashing white like white light there so there I can see the dial and that's connected right so now everything's paired up the dial is here and you can see I'm just using it there as a scroll wheel it doesn't stick on the surface itself if you would expect anything like that and it doesn't know when it's placed on the surface unlike a surface studio where it brings up the dial but it does work as a scroll wheel and I just press the button down on it there and you see I've got this wheel here now so I can use it for zooming um, in fact let's fire up edge and we'll try it on edge so there I'm scrolling edge and let's tap the button it gives you a bit of haptic feedback it will vibrate and there you've got scroll I can control the volume let's do the volume there we go so it's like a rotating volume control if I press it again I can have it for the zoom level and I can press and hold it again put it back to scrolling and that's now scrolling now I've got open up groove now and as I'm turning the volume control or turning the, the scroll wheel it's given me a haptic feedback every click effectively every volume top level on there so you've got some f physical feedback as well as the visual indication which is which I quite like so I didn't have to change any settings but Groove is aware of the surface dial so of course it can respond like that and that's quite nice that's quite a good idea that so there I'm scrolling in one note and I So here in Groove now, I've noticed that if you hold down the button, instead of it giving you the scroll and the other options you saw before, it now gives you volume, you've got next track, scroll and scrub. So if I change it to scrub, you can see it's scrubbing through the track. Which um, I think it would be really handy, especially if you, do, if you could use it in a music editing program, which I'm going to try in a minute. So I can scroll forward through that or back, and I can change that there to next track. Or I can use it to scroll. So let's try it now with, uh, see these are the apps that it supports, including OneNote and Maps. So let's try it with um, Maps. Okay, so let's see what we can do with the Maps. If I click and hold... I've got tilt, rotate, zoom, and still got the volume control. I think the zoom would probably be quite useful on this. So I can zoom out on the maps. And I can zoom back in. So there's one note where I was drawing a little diagram. And here you can see the doing the replay of my ink strokes, and I did that using the uh, replay option on here that's pretty cool so those are apps that are supported like there's there's a lot of others i'll show you the uh, draw board that's the draw board pdf um microsmith spotify staff pad the music program uh, word uh, OneNote, windows maps plumago sketchpad groove so here's draw board pdf and with that you can use it for um 
line thickness opacity. Look at all these different options. You've got protractor, zoom, you can do the th line thickness. So in combination with the pen, let's leave it on the thickness option. Let's make it thicker, let's thin it down, make it thinner, put it in the middle, make it, there you go, you see, so you can work, I mean I can't do it because of the way the camera is, but you can work together with these, you know, as you're drawing away you can adjust the fineness with the pen, make it thicker, make it really fine, and using the dial. So I like the way that the surface dial adapts to uh, the best um, situation it needs depending on what the, oh, the developers can uh, create it so you can see I can do all those rotation options there's loads of options so that's a really good example of an app that supports it well a lot of features built into it so I wanted to try an app that is somewhat unsupported well, which is unsupported so here's Adobe Audition I use this sometimes for podcast editing and you can see I'm using the scroll to scroll across there and which is emulating that scroll bar. So this is an unsupported app. Let's have a look what else we can do with it. We can have it on the zoom option, which I would find very handy because I do zoom in quite quite a lot for the editing. So even though this app is unsupported, but it doesn't understand the surface, it's an old Windows app, uh, you can still use it. So there you go, I'm using it there with, um, with zoom on that audio editing file and I can go all the way in using this and it's a very good way of, of uh, navigating around you can also use it for the scrolling, the volume and I can use it for undo as well so uh, it's good for that as well so not only just apps that are supported but it also works well for apps that aren't supported okay, so here is uh, Cyberlink which I use for some uh, video editing uh, let's see what we can have a do with that so hold down the scroll wheel and you can see I've got the zoom option uh, and I've got the scroll so let's go with the zoom so again, I can zoom right in on the clips, in and out using the scroll wheel. So this is another program that doesn't know about the dial, but I can use this like a scroll wheel. There's also an additional um, setting here in the in, in Windows 10 for the wheel, and you can remove these or add extra features. So as well as the ones that are already there. I've added a custom tool and these custom tools allow you to map your own um, controls so I can say whenever I do right shortcut it does control out alt and tab or if I do the left it does sh sh control shift and tab plus you can also create app specific ones so if you've got say a music app you can have it so the scroll wheel does the jog shuffle or whatever or if, if you're on a uh, with Visual Studio it does zoom in on the code or whatever so you can do specific app controls as well uh, so it gives you a bit of extra um, control over what you can do with the wheel so here now I've paired it up with this Dell machine so you don't have to use it just with a Microsoft Surface and um, I'm controlling here uh, Cubase and as you same as before I can use the zoom on it to zoom through it no I can't change I can't control that so I thought I might be able to control this volume mixer but I can't with that but all it takes is an update from uh, Cubase to support it and then it would be able to do that but just to show you there that uh, you can control it here through um, through this, this Dell machine I am controlling through the dial so 89 quid the dial I think unless you've got a specific, specific need for it it's probably not an essential item but it's very elegantly designed it fits nicely on the desk and um, especially as you saw I was using it for Adobe Audition on the, on the surface it's great for scrolling through good for apps that are already um, understand the dial that support it like the uh, drawboard PDF um, but a nice little device especially like I said for apps that already support it and a good accessory for surface owners so thanks for watching this video more on the digitallifestyle.com